Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. Today I am going to share with you a very easy recipe for smothered pork chops. Now I will be cooking them in the crock pot. Um, actually, I use a slow cooker, which is basically a, a crock pot, but I find it, uh, it seems to cook the meat a little bit faster than a slow cooker. So I really like that. Um, this recipe only uses a few ingredients. We're going to use fresh mushrooms, of course our pork chops, and then um, cream of mushroom soup, a little bit of seasoning, and milk. So let's get started. Um, I want to show you, I use the button mushrooms when you are choosing the mushrooms at the store. Make sure that they're nice and fresh looking and that they're not slimy or discolored or anything. So you want them to be nice and, and white. So what I'm doing to clean is I have a pastry brush and just over the container, I am brushing the tops and the underside. So you just want to get any dirt off of there. You don't want to wash uh, them under running water. They'll get mushy and gross to work with. You want to keep them dry. So just brush them right over the container. It's very easy. All right. So once they're clean, I just give them a quick slice. And that's all there is to it. The mushrooms are all ready. So we're just going to saute these. Uh, I'm using a griddle so that you could see. Uh, you could just do this in a large frying pan. But you just want to lightly brown these mushrooms. I'm going to season them with a little bit of righteous seasoning. That's my own special blend. I use it on everything. Meat, vegetables, fruit, soups, stews, dips, you name it. And I'm using just uh, everyday oil, like a canola oil, vegetable oil, something to that effect. So we'll be right back towards the end of these mushrooms, and I'll show you what they look like, and then we'll continue to the pork chop part of this uh, recipe. So we have these mushrooms cooking on high heat. About a medium high heat and we just put a little brown on them and we season them with the righteous seasoning and at this point I'm going to go ahead and transfer them to the crock pot. And we'll go ahead and oil our pan again, get a couple of tablespoons of this vegetable oil on. 
And I am using boneless pork chops. For this application, I really don't like the bone in there uh, because sometimes when the butcher's cutting them, uh, there can be little bone fragments that end up in your food. So these have been uh, cleaned and everything to make sure there is no bone in there. So I have the chops and then I have some other pieces that were left over. I probably cut a whole pork loin or something and, and put it in here. So we got that on medium high heat. And we coat the top of these with a little bit of oil. And that's going to help the seasoning to stick. Now we don't want to cook these all the way through. Um, just a couple of minutes on each side will suffice. So while that's cooking, I am going to add the soup and the milk uh, to the crock pot. I have this nice uh, smaller scraper that I got from Pampered Chef and that fits in here so that I don't um, come in here and cut this uh, scraper. Sometimes when you use a scraper that's too big for the can, that inside rim will cut your scraper. So this Christmas was a good time for me to order a new smaller scrapers just for this task here of cleaning out the can. So just stir that into the mushroom. And I'm going to add two cans of milk. So what I'm going to do is just put like half of a can to start. And then that's going to help me to blend it into this soup mix. Because I could blend it and then not get as many lumps. It doesn't really matter if it's lumpy because it's going to cook down and all the lumps will dissolve. But I like to just start as lump free uh, going into the recipe. So this is ready now, and this is what the pork chops are going to go into. This will make a really nice gravy. And what's nice about that gravy is that's all the ingredients you need. You don't need to flour your pork chops. So we're back to the pork chops. And see, in the time that it took to do that, these have already got some very pretty 
uh, coloring on them. So we'll give just, just another couple of minutes and then everything will go into the crock pot to cook. These pork chops have cooked for a few more minutes and they've got a really nice looking uh, brown on each side. So at this point, that's all that we're really looking for. So what we're gonna do is just put them right into the crock pot with the soup. How easy is that? Just a few uh, basic ingredients to go with these boneless pork chops. You're going to have a really good tasting smothered pork chop. So what we want to do is just put these in here. I don't know if you can see that. They're just going on to the... Um, Slow cooker on high, and these should probably take, I'm gonna say between two and a half to three hours to cook. So we will check in um, when they're done. Okay, it has been two and a half hours, and a couple of times while that was cooking, I went in and stirred it around uh, to make sure that nothing was sticking to the bottom like so but now it is a uh, fork tender so I want to show you you just put your fork in there and it's easy for the fork to uh, pull it apart so that's it fork tender you could even have it go more than this, but it's it's perfect right now. It's already falling apart. You can cut it with your fork. So what I'm going to do is uh, put this on low and then get the rest of the dinner ready. And then I'll show you uh, this plated up. That does taste good. It doesn't need any seasoning at all. So we're just going to keep this. Uh, and what's nice is having this crock pot, or when it's done, you just keep it right on low, and it can stay ready when you are. So there you are. Okay, I am back, and I have just started plating. Everything is ready. So I went ahead and uh, made homemade mashed potatoes. Now, I didn't do my usual mes method where I use the uh, colander with the KitchenAid. I just uh, mashed these by hand, but they're quite delicious. They have um, butter, sour cream, and a little bit of milk in them. And here we go. I like to show a little bit of the potato, and then I like to... Um, Get quite a bit of the gravy. I think that's the best part is the mashed potato and gravy. So there we have it. Smothered steak. Uh, smothered pork chops in the crock pot. And let's give these a try. They should be fork tender enough. I don't need a knife. Yeah, they're quite tender. Very good. This is a meal that can be part of your regular rotation. Just simple ingredients. You've got your pork chops, your cream of mushroom soup, and some milk, basically. 
and then just season it with the ripest seasoning. And sometimes what I like to do is give a little sprinkle right over the top. And that just gives a little bit of color. So there you have it. Smothered pork chops. Thank you for watching this video.